everyone, my little witches. <laughs> Do you need tools to be a witch? Well, and the answer is no. I love my. <laughs> no, you don't need tools to be a witch. A lot of us new witches, um, new witches I see, think that they need wands and stones and witchy clothing. And I love witchy clothing, so I dress a bit witchy just because I like it, not because I need it to be a witch. You don't have to look witchy, you don't have to have rune stones or all those things. I, I don't have a lot of stuff as a witch, so I can't name them all um, because I believe the magic you want to use is already within. Creation comes from within. New life comes from within. So, do you need tools? to create magic in the world. No. The we are the universe, we are the energy of the universe. We're all a little part of it. We are all energy of creation. And had the universe tools to make a world like this, a whole universe with stars and planets and a, and a earth with life on it, all there is that the universe had tools. No. The universe created it from within. So I'm gonna tell you how I create magic in my life. I am a witch since I was born. I was born as one. The moment I could speak, I was talking about magic. And uh, about spirituality, about witchcraft. I the only thing I wanted to be was a witch and a singer. <laughs> but that's a different thing. Although no, it doesn't. A witch casts spells, and a song is a spell. So listen well to what I sing, because what I sing can manifest in your life. So listen well, because a song is a spell. Yes! <laughs> so it totally fits with me. So yes, but the thing was, I, I wanted to be a witch and I believed in magic and uh, didn't realize I already was a witch. I always said, I want to be a witch, I want to be a witch, but it's often that... Uh, sorry, my hair is in here. Often uh, adults ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up, but you already be what you are. You're already born as who you're going to become. You already are. And that's how I manifested everything I have. As a child, you have a lot of fantasy. You fantasize about the things you want in life. The, the things that adults don't dare to dream about because they don't believe in it anymore. But children do. Children believe it. They feel it. They see it. They create it. So, as a child, I was someone that loved to be in my head and think about stuff. I don't um, hear words when I think a lot. Uh, I see. When I was young, I remember that I was uh, angry at someone in my family. I ran outside and I thought, wait, you will see um, that I will become someone um, great you're gonna look up to and I imagined the house I was living in, the family I had, the job I had, the, the things I really wanted already as a child. I think I was 10 years old by then. Um, and the crazy thing is I live in exactly the house that I imagined back then. The stones are outside look the same. My entire home is exactly how I wanted it to be. And 
Those things happened often with me when I was young. I imagined things and they just started happening, but I didn't realize I was doing it myself. Even black magic. So be careful what you think about or what you say, because words and thoughts matter. They create. Your inner world creates your outer world. So when you see bad things happening in your world, it's because bad feelings are inside, bad thoughts are inside, bad beliefs are inside. When you see the devil in someone, it means the devil is inside. And the devil is not all good, all bad. Everyone has love within itself. It's just you have to hire the frequency of love. So even the devil should be loved. But that's a whole other story. So I kept on imagining the things I wanted in life. And even when I get it older, uh, when I started working, I did a job that I didn't really like. So the moment I was having a break, I started writing uh, the, the world that I imagined in myself. I wanted to be married and get children and, and go live on my own with my husband and have a beautiful life with them together. That was what I was writing all the time. And I always write it within two years. And after two years, I got married, I got pregnant, we started living together and here we are. Here we are. And even back then, I was 20 years old, 21, 22 years old. And even back then, I didn't realize I was creating it. I was creating it. So, do we need tools? No. We just need to live what we already want to create. Because somewhere it's existing. The only thing we have to do is to create it from within. Imagine it, feel it, believe it, create it, make drawings, make paintings, sing about it. The thing that, that works for you the most. I love writing, so I write it down. I love making paintings and drawings, so I draw the things that I want to create. And I believe in it. I believe I'm already the thing I want to be. And it comes. It comes. Whatever you want. If it's love, it's love, money, a house, a dream job, children. Mm, I love my children. Yeah, everything you want can become reality. Thank you all for watching. Mwah.